Hey, welcome back. I just was going to do that quick video on uh, how to set up your NVIDIA uh, GPU miner if you're not using a uh, third-party software program like NiceHash or uh, WinMiner. There's a couple other ones, but um, so if you decide you want to do this on your own, kind of pick out um, you know the cryptocurrency that you want to mine, uh, that that'd probably be the first thing you want to do. Uh, you can go through, and I suggest definitely like at least glancing over the white uh, the white papers or the black papers, whatever they call them, white scrolls. They have a whole bunch of different things, but basically that's just a list of how a uh, rundown of how the um, the currency is going to work, how they're going to distribute the amount of coin, and um, if there's going to be different changes implemented. Uh, they have that like a forward-looking statement, uh, usually about a year <clears throat> a year out, and so that's will give you a good understanding whether or not it's like seems like a good coin and if the math doesn't add up then you probably don't want to you know obviously you don't want to mine it because it could be a scam coin because there's plenty of them that go around um, so after you do that and you pick what coin you want to uh, to mine you're going to want to go uh, to github or you can go just ccminer.org and download um, the cc miner um, and then you might need to do a 7-zip and all you do for that is you just go Google and then 7 zip. And the reason you want to have, you probably should just do this anyway because a lot, like not all files, but there's quite a few of them, especially when you get in the cryptocurrency space, require that you have 7 zip to open it. And basically, what that is is like when you go to extract a file, uh, you know, some, some files you can't just use the, the regular Windows. Uh, files to extract them, you have to use 7-zip, and uh, so just have this on your computer and that way you have it ready um, in case you need it down the road. So you have CC Miner downloaded and you have 7-zip downloaded, um, and then you'll have, so then you'll have this, you'll have your file and it'll say CC Miner and you're going to want to extract it. Uh, I extracted mine right to the desktop, uh, wherever you extract it is where you're going to have to have your batch file saved. And basically, what a batch file is is it's just going to run. Uh, it's going to run your CC miner, and you're going to have it set up the way you want to run it, so that you can uh, mine the specific cryptocurrency you want. Um, now you do have to connect to a pool, and uh, so then <laughs> so you have to figure out whatever coin you want. You have to look to see. Uh, I'll make that smaller again. Uh, whatever coin you want uh, to mine, you got to make sure that whatever. That, that there's a pool that supports it unless you want to do uh, solo mining which I don't recommend unless you have a lot of graphics cards or a big rig um, so anyway you're gonna have it set up something very similar to this CC miner and then x64 this could change but for me that's what it is it's uh, executable 64-bit window I believe is what that is and that just allows me to run or actually this is because I have the file saved as CC miner dash 64. Whatever you have that file saved in is what you want to have this. That's an executable so it'll open that up. And then so then most of this other stuff you don't really have to worry about too much. I'm trying to remember how, why, how I have this set up. I have the intensity set to 21. Uh, a difficulty I have nothing set so it'll be auto difficulty. Uh, and then that's on graphics card 0, 1, 2, and 3. So when you're doing graphics cards, you need to have them set like that. Zero is one, uh, and then two, three. So this is a four card, uh, you know, miner, mining rig. Um, where it is, and then most of this stuff, you really don't, I don't even think you'll need any of this, to be honest with you. Um, so you could skip that out if you want. I don't remember why I even have that in there, to be honest with you, but... So if you come over here though, you definitely need this. So you have your intensity set. I have mine set to 21. Uh, you should definitely start at 20 and then uh, and then try 21. Uh, you you want to make sure that you have everything clocked before you go right to 21, or you'll overheat your cards. Um, so then the algorithm for Denarius is try this. So this is where you gotta do a little bit of research. Whatever your coin is, you have to look up what algorithm. Uh, you know, is used to mine that coin. So Denarius is Tribus. Um, there's Verge is X17. A lot of them, there's like Equihash. There's, that's a very popular one. And then for with your pool being set, you have to set it up like this. So 
it's a stratum. Uh, so for instance, uh, my denarius coin, uh, I can go to Yimp as the pool. So I'll come over here, I'm on my Yimp here, auto refresh. You come over to this list here. You see the different algorithms on the left hand side here. And then they have a port number here. And then they have what coin you mine here. And so <laughs> what you want to do is have this set up like this, <laughs> stratum, and then I'm connected to, to yimp.eu and the uh, port number for Denarius Tribus is 8533. And then IU, and then you just put your wallet in there. It's as simple as that. Um, I wouldn't, I mean, you could use this wallet if you want to be nice and, and donate to me, but it would only work if you're mining Denarius on YIMP. Uh, uh, well, actually, I don't think it has to be on YIMP, but it has to be Denarius, Trivis, uh, the Tribus, or whatever uh, algorithm. And the reason I like this algorithm so much is it does proof of stake and proof of work. So, proof of work is when you're mining the coin and you're getting compensated for mining it. Uh, and then proof of stake is while you're holding the coin in a wallet, you actually accumulate more coins. Now it's not a lot because it's in the earlier stages, but when it goes over to later stages and uh, and it goes more towards proof of stake and less towards uh, proof of work, you actually get compensated more. So right now that is I'm looking at point zero 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 one. It's about like every day or so, so it's really not a lot yet, but that does, like later on, it, you know, it'll add up quite a bit. So if you have any questions or problems trying to set it up, let me know. I think I got most of it. I covered most of it. Let me open up another file for you guys just to compare because that one's set up a little goofier than I normally set them up. Uh, let me do this one. Um, so you can see on this one for uh, the uh, X17 is the algorithm. It's still on YIMP. And this is for Verge. X17 is Verge coin. As you can see, I, this one doesn't have nearly as much stuff. I just you don't really need to have any of that stuff uh, in there, and unless you do need it, it's kind of weird. Uh, most of the time, you're not going to need it. But if you come, if you run into any problems, you might have to write some stuff out differently. Uh, and then that's kind of like you just have to play it by ear, you know. And uh, so you don't need, for this one. I don't even have the difficulty set, so it'll do an auto auto difficulty setting, and I don't remember what it is. I think it, it actually might be low. It might only be uh, 19 or something like that. But I don't really run this program that much anymore, uh, just because so many people are, are mining Verge, and Verge is not uh, GPU as GPU friendly as it was, because I believe that people have X17 ASIC miners. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's part of the reason that it went up, uh, the difficulty went up so high, and the fact that it's just uh, the coin value has gone up so much. Uh, and a quick side note too, just uh, for everyone to be aware of, Verge is going through a hard fork, uh, I believe within, within the next 48 hours. Uh, it's nothing major, well it is major, but you're not going to get any like free coins from it. It's basically just uh, to update the stealth features and to uh, improve uh, unconfirmed transactions and transaction speeds and fees are supposed to be even lower which is really cool so I'm really excited to see how that plays out uh, I might do a quick video on uh, uh, updating on that after after the fact all right so thanks again for watching appreciate it have a good day bye